Hello, everyone, and good evening. Hope you all are having a nice Saturday, relaxed evening, enjoying yourselves. I thought I'd put out another video for this evening, and I'm coming straight from the Inquirer magazine. Y'all know about it. Okay, we're going to be talking about James Brown, y'all. It's some people out there today, especially his wife, his last wife and his son. They are thinking he was drugged and murdered for his money, honey. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying in this new national inquiry. Want to know? Magazine. I told y'all I was going to pick up this magazine and skim through it and see if there's any salacious stories. Okay. But it's from National Enquirer, and the title is called uh, James Brown Was Drugged and Murdered for His Money. Let's get into it. Let's see what they say, okay? Soul Great's Widow and Doc Demands Investigation. Yes, what they doing? I don't know if they don't uh, unearth his body and did some uh, criminal toxicology screens, you know what I'm saying? And that's his son, his last son that y'all are viewing right there from James Brown. I don't know if he really looked like him or not, y'all. Maybe the eyebrows and maybe the eyes look like they're coming from his mother. But it is what it is. Okay, let's get on into it. It says the widow of soul icon James Brown charges the I feel good. Uh, na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Uh, na, 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 na. I feel good. I know that I would sugar and spice. Da -da. I don't know the song, y'all. <laughs> I just thought I would kind of sing it, okay? Since I hit that, oh, uh, in that first paragraph, and that's um uh, one of his songs, I Feel Good. I thought I'd just break out in tune. But y'all see how that went south real quick, okay? But anyway, it goes on to say the widow soul icon James Brown charges the I Feel Good singer was purposely loaded up with drugs and murdered by crooks after his money. Okay? Now, Tommy Ray Brown, that's his last wife, 50, mom of the singer's youngest son, James II, 18, wants cops to open an investigation into the Godfather of Souls 2006 death which was attributed to congestive heart failure and pneumonia, even though the autopsy was performed on the 73-year-old's body. I think he could have been murdered, Tommy said. They were feeding him drugs and not playing him, or oh, not paying him. You don't give somebody drugs when you are looking out for them. It was crack cocaine and phencyclidine. Everywhere I looked, there was this stuff. I throw it away and more would come. He would be on the phone, bring me my green suit, bring me my brown suit, and the suit would have something in the pockets. And I'm like, why would, would Jane Brown be in on the phone to my bring me this and that and third suit? Don't he have a closet of his own? I'm just saying. Going back to the article, it says people gave it to him. Now the real cause of death is under question. In February, Brown's physical, or I'm sorry, Brown's physician, Dr. Marvin Crawford, suggested the star's death was due to an overdose, okay, of drugs, possibly intentional. Since then, Tommy saw uh, some of Brown's friends and the doctor who signed his death certificate asked for the investigation into his death to be reopened. Okay, after Brown died in Atlanta Hospital on December 25th, 2006, his body was immediately mummified. Hmm, make you go, hmm, right? Later, his legs were amputated, so DNA tests could be done in a battle over 100 million fortune. Hey, they amputated his legs? What? So you mean Jay Brown, King of Soul, went to heaven or hell without his legs? Okay. Mm, that's what they do? Okay. He remains now apparently lying a crib on his daughter's property. Tommy believes Brown's manager, David Cannon, which is his former manager, y'all, who died last year, 
history behind the star's passing. In 2011, Cannon was sentenced to three years home confinement for ripping off Brown. All right, why do you, I wonder why he was confined to house arrest. He should have still been in jail. They, they, they uh, put Bill Cosby in jail. He needed to go to jail too, okay? Anyway, according to their contract, Cannon was entitled to 5% of the performer's earnings, but instead was raking off around 15%. At the time of Brown's death, Tommy's marriage to the star was challenged. But last year, a judge ruled she was his legal wife. Since then, she's been battling Brown's other heirs over his fortune and royalties. Something happened there that nobody wants me to know about, she insisted. But whatever happened, it is going to come out. You can't hide the truth for very long. Okay, y'all, what y'all think about that? Because I got questions already. Because my thing is, if he over there was trying to tell somebody on the phone, I'm trying to find out who was that on the phone. He was asking for a green suit or a brown suit. Okay. And why was it stacked with drug, drug paraphernalia in it? And why was James Brown taking it? You know what I'm saying? Was he addicted to drugs? Because why would you be asking for two separate colored suits that you don't have in your house and they coming with, you know, Cocaine or, or whatever kind of illicit drug. Seemed like Jane had a habit. He couldn't kick. That's just my response. What do y'all think about this story? Okay. I look forward to reading your comments about this story. Because, shoot, how people are leaving this world. Some are questionable. Some deaths are questionable. People need to ask the right questions and, you know, uh, see if they will do an autopsy. Because I know uh, when my aunt passed last year, we wanted to do an autopsy, but we really couldn't afford it. Uh, it was like three to $5,000. And the only reason they would give it to you free if they felt it was like foul play. You know, it wasn't, uh, it was a homicide, you know. Things weren't stacking up like a person should have died this way. Then that's how you get a free autopsy, no charge to you. But usually, them autopsies range from three to five to seven thousand dollars, depending on whoever doing the autopsy, because it's a privately funded thing that they do. And I was like, wow, because I thought if you just really felt, you know, that you wanted some answers to your loved ones, you know, real quick, fast, and hurry death. Uh, you could request it, but I don't know. Speaking from experience, if it ain't a homicide or they think it's foul play being done, mm -mm, you gotta pay for it. They don't mind doing it, but they're gonna pay you. I mean, you're gonna pay them for it, but um, yeah, I was kind of sad that he did die on um, and um, on Christmas Day, you know what I'm saying? Any death is a horrible death, but then if you look at it from a spiritual point. The person is not in pain no more. They were suffering, you know, like bedridden or they were disease stricken and they couldn't do too much of anything. They weren't really living life anyway. But uh, it's just that we get so attached to our loved ones and we don't really think about it until I guess they're so old and decrepit. You think, yeah, it's time for them to go home. But when they go home unexpectedly or, you know, they just fall ill for some reason or just out the blue, just drop dead, you know. We all have questions and concerns of why that happened, but, you know, sometimes it's just the Lord wanted to call their child home, you know, and that's what it is. You know, it says to be asking for us to be present with the Lord, okay? Uh, but death for some people, it's hard to take, and sometimes they never get over it, but they proceed on in our daily living and living life to the fullest of what they can you know, possibly do without that particular person. Um, what do y'all think about James Brown? Do y'all think somebody was out to murder him? Do y'all think somebody was, you know, uh, dealing him drugs or, or, or what? Or was he just about to just gave out? Because I know uh, my uncle, he died in 2007 on Christmas morning, uh, in the eve of Christmas morning or whatnot. And that was hard to take um, because I was very close to him. He's almost like my dad, um, a feeling dad, because my, my dad wasn't wor wasn't worried about anyone trying to be a dad in a sense. 
he got us here, but it just kind of left us, me and my brother, as well. So, this is what it is. Some people are dad figures, father figures, and some people just, you know, they go around making babies and, you know, they claim them, but they don't do anything as far as making sure they're good. They don't try to provide for them uh, financially or emotionally, you know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is. I thought it was a uh, a story worth reading. And I had heard about, you know, all the things that is not reported about James Brown because my cousins, them live in Augusta. And, you know, they know all about him. He lived in Augusta. He was tying up things in Augusta. He was Augusta, let's put it like that. Uh, so he was a man in charge and in, in, in tune with who he was when he was living. That's Mr. James Brown. Now, how he left this world is still under speculation. We don't, we won't probably ever know. Um, but that's good for the wife, uh, fighting for her rights, uh, as the late widow of James Brown and trying to secure the bag for her son. Cause I still hear from even talks about. Their radio personalities always bring up James Brown here and there. My cousin was telling me they still ain't got that stuff solved. That man is in a crib. Or, you know, when they say crib, I, I'm thinking like a, in a mausoleum, something above the earth. But yet, you know, um, you could go and visit. But I wouldn't want that kind of stuff. It's in my backyard. And I think that's his eldest daughter. Um, the crib is in her backyard. From what it was saying. Yeah, apparently a lie in a crib on his daughter's uh, property. I'm thinking this is the oldest daughter, Deanna. But I'm not really sure. If I asked my cousin, I'm pretty sure he could tell me. Because they always uh, doing backstories that we don't hear in Atlanta. But they be posting them, you know, in Augusta. In their newspaper. Um, and probably talk show. Talk shows, radio personalities be talking about it. In that type of form. But yeah, okay. That's all I had, y'all. Can't wait to see what y'all see about it. <laughs> Some of y'all probably don't even care. Okay, y'all got a life. Y'all living life. And those stars, they get into so much and be a part of so much. You know, it could be plausible that, yes, that is going on. Yes, somebody did do that. But it ain't worth spending, your, you know, a lot of time on it. Unless you're living that life and that affects you. So I understand that as well. But all right, y'all. I might be back with another short video on commentary that is basically geared from um, the Inquirer magazine. Just to give y'all something else to sink your teeth into, sink your mind into. Yes. So y'all be blessed. Y'all continue to enjoy y'all Saturday lazy evening. And I'll be back shortly with something else, okay? Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for uh, subscribing, liking, and commenting under my videos. Really appreciate that. And continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, and let's blow up together. Good night.